day, chaps and chapesses, I'm the Rolling Gherkin, and welcome back to what will hopefully be the final video in this... Well, the final video in the initial run-through of Crash Bandicoot. There'll be more getting the rest of the gems, but to get through the main playthrough all the way up to Cortex, this will hopefully be the last video now. I was hoping the previous video would be the last one, but it ended up going on for a lot longer than I thought in Jaws of Darkness due to me being an idiot. And then, um, missing half the crates anyway. Now here's the thing. That's the end of the level. There's a green gem, which I've already got. Takes us up here. To all these lives. And I'm going to get them all. Even though I don't need them. Now I could just end the level here. But I ain't going to do that. I'm actually going to play through the level. Because you can literally just take the, the uh, gem platform down there. Straight to the end of the level. I'm going to fall down this big hole instead. And play the level. Because I want to. And hopefully I don't need a coloured gem to get everything on it. Because if I do see a, wi a wireframe gem, I'm going to quit the level, go back into it and just finish it there and then. I'm actually not sure if this one needs a coloured gem or not. Let's, uh... Sorry, I went all quiet again then. Keep doing that. Should probably stop doing that. I need to slow down as well. I'm starting to take it too quickly again. Getting too confident. I'm going to get myself killed. As soon as I start doing it quickly, I end up making a silly mistake and end up dying. I don't want that. At all. Sneak through. Ooh. Back to 99 lives, that's what we want. Oh dear, that was really foolish. It's a really easy thing to avoid and I managed to completely cock it up. Leap of faith. There is a bit in this level with one of these uh, jumpy platforms that just catapults you straight into a pipe because the game's very mean. And down we go. A lot of leaps of faith in this level. There it is. If you, step on, if you step on that yellow trampoline there, it puts you straight into that fiery pipe. Bit of a beginner's trap there. Let's get all the one for free. There we go. There we go. And the checkpoint. Ooh, I thought I was going to hit the red pipe then. And again. Avoid him. Oh yeah, this bit. There we go. Nice and easy. Run under him. Run under him. Oh, nearly got hit by the mass. The mass by the uh, red pipe. Managed to avoid it again. Just about somehow. Pure bits of luck there. No skill at all. Right. Okay. This one is follow the, the steam as it sprays up. There we go. Nice and easy. Jump over there. Let's try to avoid the red pipe. And the next red pipe. And the blue pipe. No! No! That's really upsetting. I really sad I messed that up. Because that's right at the end of the level as well. Oh well. That could have gone better than it did. And now we're back here. And let's not cock this up like I almost did then. 
by doing it in completely the wrong order and I didn't press jump, so I died. <laughs> Excellent. 98 lives, that's completely unacceptable. Oh, I've done it wrong yet. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I started jumping on that, I'd done it in the wrong order. I was so close to the end, and then I had to mess it up, didn't I? That's very deeply upsetting. There we go. That's the order you need to do it in to get all the boxes. And there we go. Well, I just ran straight off the edge then. I thought that was one of the bits where you drop down, and it is not one of the bits where you jump down. I showed down that, considering I considering I played that part of the level several times already. But it's fine. <sighs> I did not think I could have made that then. I did not mean to jump on the other box first, and then we jump onto there. We don't drop down the hole like a cretin. There we go. And get that as well. And him. You can fuck up too. Right. And there we go. Right. Let's try not to die this time. In a really dumb way. That platform annoys me. I always think it's going to go all the way underneath that pipe towards the next one, and it doesn't. There we go. Easy peasy. And we got all the crates, so we get another gem. Hooray! On to Dr. Nitrous Brio, the penultimate boss. Probably the hardest boss in the game, I'd say. He's certainly got the most health. The master all his health, he gets more part with the fight. I do like how the air uh, change up a little bit, because um, in the original you jumped on these green things he throws at you. But then they hurt him, but it didn't really make any sense because they didn't really do anything, he just took damage. Whereas now you can see him sort of spray sort of acid at him. So at least it makes sense as to why he's taking damage. Which is a nice little touch. Right, let's just kill the green guys. And this is where the boss fight changes up a little bit. You think he's only got one hit left, but no, no, no. Actually, he's going to throw purple potions at you first, which I totally forgot he did. <laughs> Even though that's his whole thing. But no, now... Now he's Mega Brio. Or, as he's called in his, his boss bar. Just some question marks. Not an exclamation mark. And jump on his head. It's certainly the most interesting boss fight in the game, by quite a considerable distance. But Crash Bandicoot's never really been known for its boss fights, they've never been its strongest part. Ah, oh, there we go. Again, I really do like those little animations, they're, they're quite nice. We're very, very, very nearly there now. We've got this level and then the final boss. And then we're done. Well, we're done with the initial run through to the end of the game anyway. We're not done with the, with the game in total. There's a lot left to do here. Oh, what? 20%? I think. Ooh. Luckily, you can stand on the... Uh, the little platforms at the side of the pit. You could do it in the original, or whether it was intentional in the original, you can debate. But they certainly brought it back for this one, which I'm quite grateful that otherwise I would have died. This is another level you got to complete without dying to get the gem, to get the coloured gem. And right here is a beginner's trap. You think, oh, it's a nice cluster of boxes. 
No, there's a TNT crate hiding behind it. I think that's the one place in the game where they're truly just mean-spirited with that sort of thing. I think that's just a bit of a dick move, is that one? That's, that one really is a beginner's trap, because you'll just spin into it, not thinking about it the first time, and probably die, because there's a TNT guy hidden behind it. Now, this bonus level is a dick as well. So you can see there's an arrow crate up there. There's another crate hidden off screen. So you have to sort of use this arrow crate to jump around the other one without breaking it. What about? Oh, first try. Well. Well, I'm quite surprised myself there. And I never get that first try. Oh, wait, no, no. I always get it first try. Definitely earn the best. Total cr crash master. That's me. And then I instantly die. Oh, then I instantly die. I'm so upset. Now I can't get the coloured gem. What? Come on, universe. When I said Crash Master, I was joking. I wasn't being serious. So right, we'll come back and get the coloured gem here later. It's not that difficult of a level. I just cocked up because I'm an idiot. Oh, it's probably the only place I die as well now. If it's the only place I die, I'll be really sad. So I'm almost hoping to die again. Well, I'm not going to go out my way to try and do it then. That's quite upsetting. I knew it was going to happen. As soon as, I, as soon as I jokingly said Crash Master, of course, of course I did. Oh! Well, I mean, I did die again, and it wasn't intentional, so I don't feel so bad now. I can I can rest easy knowing that one simple cock up wasn't everything. I'm just very sad because I'm not bonus level. I actually managed to do the thing on my foot. Yeah, just run into the electricity bars. That's a great idea. But I actually managed to do the little trick jump on my first try. Which never ever happens. That's quite upset. Stop with your electricity. There we go. I missed the scream we had in the original game. It was much more uh, horrifying as a man falls to his death. Right. There we go. This is better. Good thing is you can stand on these little side bits. When the floor opens up, which makes it a lot easier. That file of another level. There we go, all the crates, but I died, so I can't get the coloured gem. Very sad. But it's okay, we'll come back and get it later. Right, the Great Hall. Now, this isn't actually really a level, strictly. I mean, it is, as in you load into it and it's got a leg and exit, but it's right there, right at the start of the level. It's right there. Because this gem here, once you've got all the gems in the game, it forms a path you can jump all the way along to get to the secret exit. However, I've not got all the gems, so I'm not going to bother trying. Because I'm going to come to a point where there's just a wireframe. So we're just going to exit the level straight away. And on we go to the final boss, Dr. Neo Cortex. Final boss of the game. After this, it's all over. And for some reason, the castle's on fire now. Not quite sure how Crash set the entire island on fire, but... Apparently he did. This is all about spinning green orbs back at him. 
Probably every now and then he'll fire a non-lethal shot. Well, actually, it is lethal if you don't spin it. That's how it works. I missed the spin. That's not great. There we go. That's two hits. down now. Spin that bucket in. Now he fires rapidly. Oh, I missed the, missed the green up. That's upsetting. And one more hit. When he just fires green orbs. That's all he fires now. He goes straight to him. And there we go. That is Dr. Neo Cortex defeated. And that is Crash Bandicoot 1 sort of completed. It's not 100%, but we're part way there at the very least. And that's the opening cut to the Crash 2 there. And there's Crash's misses. He saved Sorda, and all is good with the world. And there we go. That is the end, at least, of the uh, initial playthrough of Crash Bandicoot 1 of the Insane Trilogy. Uh, as I said, one of my absolute favourite games of all time. I adore it. It is such a special, special game to me. And, uh, yeah. And we're done. So, uh, next episode we're going to uh, go back and get some of the gems we've not got. Uh, maybe get all of them in that episode. Depends on long it takes. Who knows? Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. I've been the Rolling Gherkin, and goodbye.